Hi friends, welcome to Direct Impact Broadcasting. The network of growth and transformation presents SOS for Leaders, where your host, Taiwana Wilson, will be sharing leadership and personal growth strategies. Let's jump right in. Hi friends, welcome to another episode of SOS for Leaders. I am your host, Taiwana Wilson. Let's jump right in. I am excited to bring you this series on becoming a great leader. Today, we're gonna talk about the five characteristics that distinguishes leaders. So when you think about leaders, what is defined as a leader is often confused with the charismatic individual or great orator. How many times have you heard people say, well, a great leader was this person and, or a great leader was that person. And they may mention a former president, Barack Obama or Oprah Winfrey or uh, former first lady, Michelle Obama, who are all very charismatic and, and great orators. But any good leader will will demonstrate excellent communication skills because communication is all about connecting and connecting uh, increases your influence in every situation. But true leaders aren't just great speakers. It is not about the message that they deliver. We're going to jump into five characteristics that they have that distinguishes them from other people. They project themselves and inspire others because they know where they want to go and engage everyone to get there together. So that's the first thing. They project themselves and inspire others. So those leaders that I talked about earlier, the reason why they are such great leaders is because they inspire their followers. They project themselves with confidence. They know where they want to go. They know what they want to do. And so they are able to project that onto the people that follow them. And so the people that follow them are engaged and energized and they want to be better. They want to go to places that those leaders are talking about. So being able to project yourself and inspire others is a characteristic that will distinguish you from other leaders. The second thing is they provide safety and create the conditions for collaborative work. As a leader, your job is to make sure that everybody feels safe and included. It's very important for your members to feel safe because when they feel safe, then they will open up and share things with you. They develop trust in you and they build group spirit and they are really great team members. So when you provide that area of safety as a leader, that starts to distinguish you from others. How many times have you worked in a work environment and the leader of your department didn't create a climate of trust or safety and so you stopped participating? Maybe it was something that you mentioned to them in confidence and they mentioned it to somebody else and you found out, then it made an environment that was not safe. That just made, that was a big characteristic uh, distinguish meant for you on that person. And you're like, oh, they're not a leader. They're out here telling what I told them in confidence. And so now I don't feel like they value me. I don't feel like it's safe to collaborate with them or with other people. So being able to provide that safety is critical. The third characteristic that distinguish leaders is they seek to make the best possible decisions. Are you always going to make the best decision? No, you're not. But you have the intention on always making the best possible decision. And to do so, they empower the people that they work with to also make good decisions. And if they the decision that they make is not good, then that leader works with them so that the next time they are able to make a better decision. So seeking to make the best possible decisions for your team. So if you're in the workplace making the best possible decisions on new hire, when you are staffing and recruiting for new hires, you want to get a team member who's going to be a good fit, not just another warm body in your department, 
but making the best possible decision on a candidate that's going to be the best fit and that they're going to be successful in their role. Also, as leaders, you have to make the best possible decisions, especially if you have children, making the best possible decisions for them in regards to their education, in regards to the experiences that they have growing up. So being able to make the best possible decisions distinguish great leaders from those who are maybe average. They inspire confidence. When it, when it comes time to go, they are followed without hesitation. And so confidence, that is another characteristic. Most people, especially when they transition to a new role, they are not confident especially if there's something or they're using skills or competencies that they've never used before, then they may not be confident. So what can distinguish you from other leaders is being able to inspire confidence in your team members, being able to inspire them to take action so that when they do need to make a decision, when they need to incorporate a new process, that they are able to go and without hesitation, they're able to make the right decision. And then the last characteristic that we'll discuss on this particular episode is leaders put the interests of others before their own interests. It's about the people. So you have moved from individual contributor to being that of a team player. And that's a huge difference. You're not just worried about you and your interests and you moving to the next level. You're actually worried about developing a whole team of leaders. You're worried about developing your replacement. Yes, and we have to think about that. Who would replace us? Because if you are not developing anybody to take over for your position, then how are you going to be able to move into a different role and impact and inspire more people. So putting your interests, putting the interests of others above your own, which is huge. So when you think back over the characteristics that you possess, do they distinguish you as a leader? Do they distinguish you as that go-to person? Are you able to project yourself and inspire others? Are you able to provide safety and create conditions for collaborative work to be able to work across departments? Are you able to make the best possible decisions? Are you able to inspire confidence in your team and with those that are surrounded by you? Are you able to put your put the interests of others above your own interest. These are five characteristics that distinguish leaders, especially if you are wanting to stand out in your industry, or if you're wanting to make impact in your industry, if you are wanting to go to the next level in your industry. If you aren't sure if you have these characteristics, go to your personal board of directors and ask for that insight. Ask your mentor, ask your coach, if these are things that in their interaction with you, they have seen that you have these characteristics. This is always a good way to get a temperature check and to see if you are on target or if you need to readjust and realign yourself to be able to have those characteristics that will distinguish you from other leaders. When I think about the characteristic of inspiring confidence, it makes me think about the time when I had a new leader in her role as a coordinator. And she had went from being a bench technologist to now the lead tech or coordinator and being able to help her inspire that confidence and making decisions and knowing that the decisions that she were making was the best possible ones that she can make at the time and just given the tools 
you know, that's a characteristic that we talked about is given the tools to inspire that confidence to be able to make the decision. And as a leader, you want to make sure when people are learning that confidence and learning decision making, that when they do make a decision that's not the best one or a poor decision, that you don't make it a punitive learning experience. And that is one of the, the things or characteristics is very uh highly needed, especially in technical backgrounds of that inspiring confidence. Because when you are in an area where accuracy and perfection is needed, then the whole confidence thing sometimes can take some time to rewire yourself, especially if you're in a different operating in a different competency. But you keep pouring into that person and pouring into that person and you have to let them know that, yeah, that was a great decision. You really rocked that out when you said this or I really thought that was a good idea. And that's one of the ways you inspire confidence. It's similar to when you are if you are a parent and you have kids and you're inspiring confidence in your children's decision making. You know, that was a good job. That was a great decision. Oh, that was a good idea. You made a great choice. So we have to inspire that confidence. And then after a while, they don't even think about making some of the decisions they might have been hesitant on before. As you go throughout this day and you listen to this podcast, think about these five characteristics that I talked about that distinguishes leaders and look at yourself and see if those are characteristics that you have within yourself. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. I hope you are able to get something out of it that will help on your leadership journey and inspire you and to make a direct impact in your own personal development as well as in that of those that you lead and come in contact with. Please tune in next week to another amazing episode. Share this out and please follow me on social media if you haven't already. Until next time, have an amazing day. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of SOS for Leaders, where Taiwana shared nuggets of wisdom that you can use to win in life. Follow her on Facebook, Instagram, and connect on LinkedIn. And remember, the secrets of success in your life resides inside of you. When you know what your strengths are, you can utilize them to live an impactful and influential life.